magic word. Ah, ah, ah. Bruh. All right, guys, so with the pre-build boot test, we actually ended up running into a little bit of an issue. So with the RAM sticks that, uh, that my buddy provided me, they actually will not boot with this PC for whatever reason. So these are uh, 3,600 megahertz uh, RAM sticks. And now an issue I already ran into, haven't even mentioned that yet, is his 5600X will not boot with this B450 motherboard. Unfortunately, we did not end up with a board that was already... Uh, uh, up, BIOS upgraded, so we're gonna end up having to do that. I'm in the process of doing that. And while doing this, I was merely trying to make the PC boot with my own CPU. I actually have a Ryzen uh, 3 3200G just laying around that I put in a build forever ago. So I put that into the PC and uh, it will not boot even with these RAM sticks that he provided. So luckily I just built a PC on the channel and I put those RAM sticks that are only clocked at 3000 megahertz. I put those into the PC and well, it boots up just fine. I'll show you guys real quick. Let's go ahead and flip the power on. As you guys can see, lights are turning on. Everything's good. Hopefully you can see it in the GoPro right here. Let me go ahead and trip the power and turn this on. So a little bit of troubleshooting with this build, you guys, which is actually kind of cool because, hey, maybe you guys might run into this problem as well. Maybe you guys will need this information. So like I said, everything turns on. As you can see, the little lights right here, it used to just be a solid DRAM light before with the other RAM. And now with this RAM, you can see it's going through its boot cycle lights and everything is actually working. In just a second, you'll see the last screen turn on right here. And actually I do have a, uh, what do you call it? I do have a keyboard this time. And we'll see if we can enter the BIOS here. Um, I press delete, maybe F1. Okay, there we go. And can we see the setup? Yes, we can. Perfect. So we are main. Let's see. So yeah, we are running uh, Ryzen 3 3200G. Yep, that is working. So it looks like everything is cool. So you can see the memory over here is only running at those 26, 66 megahertz. So I got a feeling that whatever BIOS version this is, 0301, so this is an older BIOS version, it may not take 3600 megahertz RAM. I, I'm hoping that's what the problem is. So what we need to do is we need to actually flash the BIOS. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go to Easy Flash 3 Utility. And then go ahead and uh, via storage device, that's what we got there. Let's go ahead and go down to our file that we put on the thing there. We downloaded this from the motherboard's website. So if you guys need to find the latest BIOS for your motherboard, if you're updating it, make sure you just go to the motherboard's website, the exact motherboard, okay? This one was kind of weird because this actually has a version one and a version two. You gotta make sure you have the right one. So just keep that in mind. So there we go, we got it right here. Let's hopefully be able to read this. Let's go ahead and do that. And we should be well on our way to uh, updating our BIOS, so this works. Let it do its thing. All right, so that's a good sign. Do we really want to update the BIOS? Yes, we do, because we want to use that 5600X. And then you'll let it do its thing. So as you can see, it is updating our BIOS, and we should be able to continue with the build now. So hopefully, after we do this, uh, maybe this will allow us to use that higher speed RAM. Uh, once it's done, I'll go ahead and update you guys. So let's go ahead and let this thing finish and then we will pick up from there. Okay, so update. Now we have the Ryzen 5 5600X in the motherboard, swapped out the 3200G, and now we also swap the RAM back to the original memory that uh, my friend bought. We took my memory out, we put his 32 gigabytes of 3600 megahertz in, and hopefully with that BIOS update, maybe it'll let us run this RAM speed. I'm hoping that was the issue and not that we got some dead RAM sticks because that'll put a little halt to our build here. So I flip the power on. Let's go ahead and trip the power here and see if our BIOS flash screen comes up and we don't have just DRAM issues and that's it. Guys, I'm already seeing some different lights. I think we may have fixed it. I think this is actually what the problem was. I think it was just the BIOS and it looks like now, okay. Yep, we are getting CPU lights. Everything is flashing, everything is green. Look at that. Let's go ahead and press delete here. I believe we fixed our issue, and I'm very, very happy if you can't tell. Uh, and my friend's gonna be happy as well. So here we go. We definitely, yep, it looks like we have, what do we got here? Tweaker. Yep, we're running the 4301 BIOS as we'll be updated to. Our Ryzen 5 5600X is in there, and we now have. 32 gigs of our, well, it's we have to overclock and put the XMP profile on, but it's supposed to be 3600 megahertz, but obviously it's running a little bit slower at the moment. But 
all in all, guys, we fixed the issue, and now we can actually begin to build the PC inside the case. Next time on the Mystery PC Build. I put a motherboard into a case, I screw in some fans, I plug a bunch of wires into god knows where, and oh my lord. And then we see my friend's reaction to the build. <laughs> I love it!